Howdy everyone, welcome to another video. Yes, I have this, uh, you know, freaking sweet wrappings and stuff, and cake wrappings just all over you, but <laughs> anyways, I decided to do something, uh, talk, think about something. Wow, my words are getting mixed up. <laughs> okay, so, um, let's start off with the basics. I want to talk about something that happened last year or so in this country. Now, I know... I don't want to talk about politics too much because it sucks ass so many times. I just want to do other things and talk about politics. But, you know, I just want to bring it out there that last year we had the elections. Different parties were running and we had a specific party. I forgot their name. Totally irrelevant now, but I forgot their name. Like, trust me, th these guys were pricks. And they came up with the slogan called land or death that's right land or death but then after that they were dropped out because you know of that slogan now um i think before that they were saying some other radical things too and <laughs> they were freaking aloud until the slogan came and then they were like uh uh no go away uh and the thing is that that's scary that is pretty fucking scary because could you imagine that? Someone actually had a slogan like that. And, um, you know, what really, what, what I really dis dislike from people is that, you know, they think South Africa is this peaceful place. It's like, it is a multicultural country, don't get me wrong. But we do have our share of fucking nonsense, honestly. Um, and trust me, um, many people don't have it out so well in this country, you know, we have a lot of poverty, um, politicians stealing money, trust me, millions of rands gone, you know, uh, we have s s soft promises, that's not even a proper thing to say, but yes, we have that, you know, um, also, you know, I want to talk about this cricket thing. Now, if you don't know, there's this cricket consultant thing, basically basically like a cricket coach or whatever. Now, we have a, our cricket team, our national cricket team called the Proteas. Now, many of you who watch cricket may, hear of, may have heard of them or watch any type of sport or check any sports highlights, may have heard of them. Now, basically, they only, they only now want black-only consultants, basically. If if you're if you're skilled non-black in this country, you want to be a coach for the Proteas or, you know, anything like that. I'm sorry, but you're not allowed to do that anymore. Not allowed to do that. Okay. And you know, I can't believe it that to be anti-racist, we have to be racist to another race, to other races. Okay. Um, I think that's very silly in my opinion, because it's like, why though? Why do you want to just stop? other races from coaching, you know, that is so retarded because that's not helping change, you're not trying to make change, well, you are changing something, but it, it's not going to be happy, okay, it's not going to be a good, happy-go change, you know, if they think this is going to work for progressiveness, I'm sorry, it's not going to work, you know, and some people just be so happy about it, this is allowed, okay, racism is allowed. Okay, see, see, uh, no one talks about it in news so much. They don't want to talk about it so much and call it racism, you know. But somehow, if it's the other way around, and it, it, it's not even about race issues. People will make it race issues. That That's the big problem I have, too. They always want to make it a black and white picture, you know. And then, when it goes the other way around, it's like, oh, nothing to see here. Well, guess what? There's something to see here. Uh, I think that's very annoying to do that, in my opinion. Because they could be skilled people who want to coach this pro tiers, and now we, they can't because of their race. This isn't apartheid times. We're living in a time where everything's supposed to be diverse, okay? Let's, let's let that happen. Uh, so anyways, yeah, we have a lot of weird stuff happening ever since the... BLM stuff happened in America a few months ago, you know, after the, after the tragedy of George Floyd, you know, somehow everyone, well, not everyone, but so many people in this country started acting off stuff, you know, 
which surprised which surprised me a bit because we have we have you know like freaking uh what were they called um uh, back in during the lockdown we had okay i'm just gonna say this story i'm not sure if i'm 100 correct in the story it's been a while since i've heard about this but um you know this happened in the beginning like like what the, f the first few weeks of the lockdown which was around march no february i don't i can't remember okay it was a long time ago <laughs> just a few months but it, it felt like freaking years honestly cooped up in this place <laughs> oh wow well it's not like i'm always cooped up in this place it's just it feels more weird when everything's in a lockdown but anyways we had this uh defense force going around the country making sure people are not you know freaking walking about and stuff that's right we had a freaking defense force all around and plus, people were people were arresting people like crazy. There was one lady and stuff just walking on the streets. Bam! They took her. She even wore a mask, you know. And plus, these police officers had no mask. They're just arresting, her, grabbing her, manhandling her, and stuff like that. We also had, um, we also had someone who snitched on this family who, who went to the beach, and then basically the police officers, these two police officers, I think they're like some patrol officers, I don't know what the heck they are, but some kind of police officers. And basically, uh, you know, uh, fucking, uh, they came to arrest the guy, the father, the, the man, and then, um, basically he went to go leave his house keys and stuff first. They thought he was ignoring them, you know, resisting arrest, but then, you know, they grab his child right over there. They literally grab his child. And and then after that, the man comes rushing in. And then, you know, it's, it's just weird because no, no one batted an eye about that. We also had the defense force. Going back to the defense force. Uh, they shot and killed the man. Because they thought he had, you know or something in his fridge. Now the story could be hundred, like not hundred percent correct, because I, I know, um, it's been a while since I've, you, you know, read about it, but it has happened. You know, a man has been killed, no reason whatsoever, and you know, by the way, alcohol and beer, they were banned in the lockdown. Then we, then we were allowed to have alcohol again. Then they banned it again. Now we're on this lockdown level two which basically allows us to do more things and cigarettes and alcohol are now allowed. Uh, you know, our president didn't give a damn about what happened in this country. As soon as, uh, you know, the passing of George Floyd happened, the tragedy happened, he had to go full BLM, which, which is like, I honestly not going to talk about the people that died in this country f from the offices, from this country's offices and stuff like that. I'm not gonna talk about that. Are you gonna ignore that? You know, he's talking about racism, this and that. Trust me. Fucking, what, Jacob Zuma was better. I'm s so, I know I sound weird, but he was much better, okay? Yes, he didn't know how to count, but he was much better than this freaking prick, honestly. Um, the dude tries to be this woke moron, but he is a woke moron, honestly. Uh, he called men rapists too, which is, I don't know why, you know. Women and children, this and that, yes, we get it, you know. They need to be safe, but every time, always that, you know. Blame men, this and that. Honestly, it's so bizarre, honest, honestly. Uh, why do we have someone like him in office? There we go. Th that's a better question, you know. Um, the entire political, his entire political party has been... Just a sham for the past few years, honestly. No, for the like, you know, many years, okay. And plus, he blamed our failing economy. Guess what? On racism, even though his political party has been running this country for the last twenty six years. So it's racism's fault that that we are failing in the economy, or it's just that we are doing a lot of things wrong. Hmm. <laughs> oh my goodness. There is a uh, party that's close to theirs, that's, that's, when it comes to the votes, it's very close, 
like second eyes, but not so close, like millions and stuff, but you know. Uh, so basically, this party I, I do have a chance to beat them next year in the elections, which is, which is cool, which is cool, you know, I hope so. Because during this lockdown, many people are waking up from this nonsense and stuff. People are fed up and I am fed up too, okay? I'm fed up with this nonsense too, honestly. I think we need a better government now, because right now this current government needs a big, big fixing. A lot of corruption, a lot of nonsense has been going on, and many people are sick of it, okay? We need, we need a party that actually cares about the people and not steal the money and stuff like that, okay? Anyways, that was just a quick political video. Uh, started from talking about... Wait, what did I start talking about? I have no fucking clue. Oh yeah, last year's elections, and... Um, you know, this year, it's just weird. Next year is going to be the next elections. Um, uh, I hope another party wins, a good party. You know, the Liberal Party, basically. Do not call it the Liberal Party, but, you know, they're very liberal. So, I hope they win. Because, trust me, half of, the, you know, this current government is communist. So, there we go. Honestly, I, I'm tired of this nonsense, honestly. I think South Africa is a beautiful country. It is very beautiful. We have a lot of beautiful things. But it's always taken over by corrupt morons running this country. Ah. Anyways, that's my thoughts. Ah. Okay, uh, if you have any... Um, any questions, I'll be happy to answer them. I'm not going to do any political stuff. just wanted to get this out of my chest because I was thinking about it for a while. Trust me, I sometimes don't feel like uploading these type of videos when I record it. But I'm going to post it anyways. And let's just see where I get the reactions and stuff. Uh, I hope people understand where I'm coming from with this stuff. Uh, like, it's just a ra random rant out of nowhere. Um, like, this would have made more sense if I ranted about this during the... F freaking lockdown, level 5 lockdown, you know? Uh, fun fact, it's, 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 so, it's so weird that that I don't really care so much about the virus anymore. It's, it's still a thing, but it's like, it's like, you, you don't really care about it so much anymore, because, you know, no one is caring so much about it, but it is deadly, and yeah, it's still deadly. Uh, honestly, I still think that... Uh, you know, it is when they get cured, obviously, but it, it just needs a few more testings, you know. <laughs> Dang. Uh, I can't believe Russia actually just, so, so quick, they were so quick on this, honestly. But I, I wish, you know, the test, the testing, the final stage of testing can go quick as possible. Because many people are getting it still, and the people who, who are more, um, prone to get it is, well, obviously, old people, and... Also, people out there who live in, you know, environments of, you know, there are just, uh, with a lot of people and stuff, you know. We do have those types of houses and places in this country, so, you know, it is going to be harmful for them. So, I hope it, it just, it gets, you know, verified quickly as possible and people start, you know, seeking, uh, being safe from the virus, okay. Uh, anyways, bye-bye.